now. Now, if you are into the smooth jazz thing, yeah, man. I got the man right here in the studio. Who, me? I'm Deacon D here on College Radio Day from the campus of Long Beach City College. This is College Radio Day. When all else fails, College Radio speaks. In the studio with me right now is a young man, and after he does his, what we call a set, his group of music, we're going to talk with him. This man has stuff to share with you. He has been there, he has done that, and he's still doing it. Uh, Tell me something. Now that you're there, please, this is, let me introduce to you. And he's got several albums. The one you were just listening to was called Dear Mr. Benson. But in the studio with me is the guy who made that, those two cuts on it, uh, Jimmy Dale. And I am really, really happy to be the one to sit here with you as you play, sir. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are we doing today? We are still here in one piece. Uh, We are celebrating College Radio Day. And since you are here with us, I'm going to ask you to play. Thank you, Deacon. You're more than welcome, sir. My honor. I'm going to start off with Dear Mr. Benson here. Dear Mr. Benson here on College Radio Day with Jimmy Dale.
it's smooth jazz brought to you here on college radio day here with my man oh jimmy dale you are playing some of my favorite kind of music so all i can do is ask you to please play some more this is a tune of my own call aggie's tune this goes out to my aggie aggie had cancer and she passed away, and I wrote this tune for her called Aggie's Tune. Aggie's Tune on College Radio Day here in KLBC.
Wow. You know, I had images just now of like kicking back on some South Sea Island margarita or maybe a nice cold daiquiri in hand sitting with my legs crossed on some white sand beach balmy weather wow I mean it's hard to listen to what it is that you were bringing us without having to let your mind just kind of roll free you really are bringing the good cool and dare I say smooth stuff to us today so please carry on with the carrying on okay this is my new tune that's not out yet this is a tune I wrote called planet blue what's about it's about saving our planet we only have one one planet so we got to take care of it and we got to take care of us so this is my tune called planet blue I hope you enjoy it on College Radio, Long Beach City College, KLBC.
that's some serious picking you're doing over there. And I love it. I'm sure our audience out there is loving it as much as I am. You know what? He's got a couple of more cuts here he's going to do for us. We appreciate you being here. And we look forward to what else you're bringing us this day, October 5th, on College Radio Day. When all else fails, College Radio speaks. What do you have going on next for us? Uh, I'd like to switch over to some reggae music off my reggae album, Freedom of Choice, by Irie. That's my reggae band. And this is a tune called Harley Gone Down. You go for you, sir, two, man. Two or three tunes left. Okay. Okay. We're, we're not angry with you. Okay. He's telling me we have two or three tunes left. And I'm sitting here enjoying it probably if, as much, if not more, than all the rest of you. But I know he's got a groove going, and we're going to let him run with it. Are you ready over there? I am ready, Deacon. This is a tune called Harley Gone Down. So be it. Must have been a nice road Holly went down. Sure was. Well, I mean, you said you have more. Don't tease me. 
Okay. Don't, it's not right. It's not fair. Don't tease our audience like that. They'll come and get me. Deacon D here, enjoying myself, as I'm sure you are, here on klbc.org, College Radio Day, broadcasting to the world. So tell me, sir, what do you have next on your agenda? Let's see. I have... This is a Caribbean tune I wrote with my friend Russ Henry, steel pan player from uh, Curacao, and myself. Uh, this is Irie's, on uh, Irie's next album coming out. We've been working on it for a while, almost finished with it. And uh, this is a tune called We're Gonna Party. Before you get started, can you explain for those of our listeners who don't know what a steel pan is? Could you tell them about that real quick? Yes, a steel pan is made out of oil drums from the old days. And they used to cut off the heads of oil drums and then they would round the inside of it out. And then some magical guy would come along and make notes out of it. And that's how they got the steel pan. It's made out of an oil drum. I'll take your word for it. It sounds cool enough. Please be obliged to play for us. Of course, one quick sip doesn't hurt. Yes. It's water, folks. It's water. <laughs> Here we are on College Radio. Day. This goes out to the working man, all the working men and women in the world. Yeah. 
definition to the term feel-good music. Wow. And that's on your album, Irie. That's on the new one. Coming the new up that album. We're working on right now. Wait a minute. I don't know if you can check that out. That's the album that's going out. Party, feel good music. Absolute. And he's right. We're dancing in the studio. This ain't nothing but a party. College Radio Day. 2018. When all else fails, College Radio speaks. And we happen to be here in the studio. Uh, KLBC. And now we have something coming up. We have an acoustic guitar piece. Now, for everything else that I've heard, I'm ready almost for anything he's got to offer us here. So now, now you owe us, since you've been giving away all this other good stuff, what is our next piece coming up here? This next piece... My dad was in the Army 26 years. So when people ask me, have you been in the Army? I go, yes, 26 years. Oh, you're just adding, adding it all together there. Yes. All right, if you're there, you go for it. My dad, I love him, bless his heart. But we've never seen eye to eye to almost anything. We're in just two different worlds. So one day, every time I go out to visit him in Casterville, he makes me mow his lawn trim his trees, do all this stuff. I said, and he wants me to pull the weeds. I go, they're not my weeds. He goes, yes, they are. They got your name on it. I go, I thought that was your name. He said, no, son, that's your name. And then so one day, after where I worked my butt off, I was so tired. I went out on the back patio, because we live out in the country in Castor, but where the artichokes are grown, and I came up with this song. And it goes out to all the people in life that people tell them what they should do, but you have to do what your heart says. Uh, that did not include cutting that lawn for you. I'm going to take it for granted. No. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my tune called Never Give Up. Never give up, 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 never give up
never give up, 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 never give up. I can't see you where never give up, never give up. I can't go that way. Never give up, never give up. I gotta go my way. Never give up, never give up. I gotta go my way, sir. Never give up, never give up. I gotta go my way, sir. Never give up, never give up. I gotta go my way, Dad. You know I love you, Dad. But you just don't want to cut that lawn. <laughs> I'll cut his lawn forever. Because <laughs> that's dad, right? That's right. For you, dad. Wow. I'm, I'm feeling this man. I, I understand the words that he sings. So true in this life. You got, what, one more for us? Please? Yes? Oh, one more? For sure? Yes! Okay. You got one? Yeah, I got a million of them. <laughs> Uh, maybe that was the wrong question to ask. <laughs> However, we'll take one more if you got it. Yeah. Life is good, man. Great. I love it. Once again, you really need to stick around for this because this man has a history that most of us think about, but he's lived it. And, I mean, even looking at his guitar, his guitar is not brand new, fresh out of uh, Guitar Center. <laughs> that guitar has seen history. That guitar has seen history and prob probably played for, and he'll tell you, some of the greatest bands of all time. This is, and I'll show you again. There we go. This is Jimmy Dale, and this is, I don't know, would you call it jazz? I mean, you throw a little reggae in there, uh, you throw a little bit of everything on the fire. It's all good for you. Yeah. But it's just good time music. It leaves you feeling like you're just all there and ready to go. He's got one more for us. And he's got himself all nice and set up, so we'll let him play away. S stage is all yours, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, Deacon. This is a tune that I wrote some time ago. It's a tune called Rubber Dub. I, I live over in Studio City in Hollywood, and a friend of mine came to me years ago and had this film with all these beautiful girls in it. I like that. And they were all models and stuff. He said, Jimmy, can you write me a tune? And I said, yeah, yes, his name was Tom Azervi. I go, yes, I'll write you a tune, Tommy. So this is what came out of it. It's a tune called Rubber Dub. It's been in a Dennis Hopper movie, Sunset Heat, and some other stuff. But anyway, this is Rubber Dub. Your friend was a bit of a freak, wasn't he? Sure was. Okay, that, that'd be one of those songs you share with us later. A little baby, look at you now, you're a lady. Seemed like yesterday you were so young, now you're so beautiful, looking for fun. These are the ladies, they're the best of their kind, wanting to be number one. Looking for adventure, fun, and game. Won't you come along and join us in the game? Let's play Robert of Style, yeah. Rumba dubba rubba da hey, uh, let's play Rubba dub style, yeah. Rumba dubba rubba da hey, Rubba dub style, yeah. Rumba dubba rubba da hey, Rubba dub style, yeah. Rumba dubba rubba da. I got to give you credit, cause you're looking so nice. You got a, a pretty, pretty face. 
And your figure is so bright To hold you in my arms, oh baby Is to have, have a good time You are the lady, you're the top, top of the line You are the lady, you're the best of your kind Wanting to be number one Looking for adventure, fun and game Won't you come along and join us in the game Let's play rubber dub style, yeah Rubber dub a rubber dub, yeah. Let's play rubber dub style, yeah Rubber dub a rubber dub, hey Rubber dub style, yeah Rubber dub a rubber dub, hey Hey, rubber dub style, yeah Yesterday they were so young Nights are so beautiful Looking for fun Let's a play Robber Dove style Yeah Rumba Dove Rubber Dove Hey Let's play Robber Dove style Yeah Rumba Dove Rubber Dove Hey Robber Dove style Yeah Rumba Dove Rubber Dove Hey Hey Robber Dove style Yeah Rumba Dove Rubber Dove Rub you at night, make you feel good, make you feel alright. Tell you I love you in every way. Uh, let's play Ram Ba Dum, Ram Ba Dum, Bum 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 he sure is. And personally, the next time you get ready to go over there, I'll, I'll give you my telephone number, and you can give me a call. We'll go together, if you don't mind. Tommy got all the girls. All the girls. Oh, so you mean that the rest of us get to sit and watch? <laughs> no, 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 we don't do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I'm trying to get a clear picture here. So tell us about... Yourself, we were talking earlier, and you ran down your history to me, and it's like, wow, this man has been there. He has been around, and he has done some stuff. Tell us some of the names of the people that you have played with. Well, I used to play with the, the only groups, such as the Drifters, the Platters, the Coasters, the Shirelles, the Times, the Penguins, the Diamonds, did I say? Little Anthony and the Imperials, Tommy Rowe, just to name a few. And I played, I had the pleasure, thanks to my friend Tony Chin, to play on the Big Mountain album with the hit, Ooh Baby, I Love Your Ways. Uh, the ninth tune called Revolutions, that's my guitar solo. I like 
that song I've already told you before. Uh, that's a nice kind of, you know, you got your your good friend with you and you guys are, are uh, you're just complimenting and you're telling her why. Great song, great song. So you. now you have Erie. Irie. That's your new band. Irie. Irie means to feel good. How you feeling today? I'm feeling iry. Well, you know what? The way you played it, as a matter of fact, that whole set, the way you played it, yes, I felt good. I couldn't help but want to move my shoulders and, and just kind of nod to it and just be there. Thank you. Thank you. So what do you have planned for your future? Finish my record trying to make a living. That's what I'm trying to do. Nothing special. Just be a human being. Try to be a better person. Myself, try to be a better person to my friend. Try to understand this life that's getting so hard and difficult. It's changed a lot. People are changing. I'm trying to change with it. I'm trying to grow with it. But I just want to be a better human being to myself, to my friends, to my family. I know I'm a little old, but it takes time to learn. You're a little what? Little young. Ah, okay. I just wanted to make sure we got that part clear. Uh, people don't play like you play, and the emotion that you show when you're playing, you're into it. You are not old. I don't think you will ever be old. I love what I do. I, I swear to God, it's a hard life. It's a different kind of a life than uh, going eight to five. But I tell you what, when I work and I play, I just love it. I just feel good about making people happy. It makes me feel good to make people happy, to see them dancing and stuff like that. I love it. Well, this is the album. It's called Irie. Irie. Freedom of Choice. Freedom of Choice, Party Time, and Rub-A-Dub. I'm Deacon D, and this is College Radio Day. We thank you for joining us and giving that very positive, positive feeling. Jimmy Dale. And please look for me on jimmydale.net if you can. jimmydale.net. All my tunes are on iTunes. And if anybody's having a party, please look me up and look my band up. We'd love to play for you. And Deacon, I want to thank you so much and your crew. Joe and Tony and everyone for doing such a good job. And Judy Baker, thank you so much, everybody, and you young kids here at the college. It's such a delight to be here. I, I happened to be going by one of the rooms, and they were jamming some jazz in there. And I said, would you let me sit in with you? And they let me sit in just before I did this. I just want to say to young people, keep up the good work. Help make our world a better place. And I love you, man. And it's so good to be here. And thank you, youngsters. On the way out, I'm going to share a little bit more of what's on his Irie. Irie. I love that. In the meantime, College Radio Day here on KLBC, Long Beach, California, on the campus of Long Beach City College. You know what? We have more coming for you. Don't go anywhere. Coming up will be another young lady. Her name is Jenny. And she'll talk to you about her artist that she's going to play. Meanwhile, carry on, carry on. Hi, good morning. How's it going? I mean, I guess it's not morning anymore. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. afternoon. Good afternoon. How's it going at the KLBC? At the KLBC? <laughs> All right, my name is... Jenny and I am interviewing Sylvia Bosco. Awesome. Hi Jenny, how's it going? I'm good. How are good, you? Good. Good. Yes. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Hmm. Where do I start? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I'm from LA. Okay. I grew up in Pasadena. Um, I was born and raised in Pasadena, which for anyone in the entertainment industry or music or acting, whatever, that's like that's like a, a gem. Like, to be from here, that's crazy. So, are you from here? 
Yes, I am. Oh, okay, so we're on the same page. We yes. Look. Angelina knows. Okay, cool. So I know how you feel you know how about feel. it, too. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it's kind of crazy because I am from here. So it's, it's crazy that all of this Hollywood stuff is in my backyard, and I can do it whenever I want. But i got to be focused. Yes. You know, it's easy to get carried away because I live here. I'm from here. <laughs> all right, my next one is where are you from? So I'm from Glendora, okay, which is um, in the San Gabriel Valley. All right. If anyone knows, I mean, I'm really from Pasadena. That's where I grew up. But then we moved to Glendora when I was in high school. So I, I say Glendora. No one knows where that is. I mean, if anyone oh, is good. listening and knows where that is, then you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like <laughs> you know where Raging Waters is. I have to say it's something like that. So that's where I'm from. Not that far. Okay, my next question is, where did you go to school? Um, well, that's a journey. I think anyone who is in college in the last 10 years knows that it's a journey, maybe longer than that. Um, I started at PCC, which is Pasadena City College. Okay. And I was there for two years, and I busted my butt to get done in two years. I took, like, 20 units every semester. I don't know why. I just thought, like, that was good. <laughs> Yeah. So, so I was like on a roll. I was going, going, and then um, I decided I wanted to go to San Francisco. So I went to SF State for a year, okay. and um, didn't love my program. I was a theater major. I finished with a theater major at Cal State Fullerton when I transferred. Um, but you know how that goes. You know, Did arts you? education is always tricky. Well, I have something to say. Um, how did you like your college that you went to? Um, I liked it. I ended up going to Cal State Fullerton, and it was good. Um, Fullerton is an amazing town, I'm going to say that. You know, there's a lot of great work coming out of there, but um, I didn't feel like I really had the opportunity to um, explore as much. And um, once I graduated, that's when I was really taking more risks and doing more things that challenged me as an artist while I was there. You know, you're in school, you're trying to get grades, and you're kind of confined by that. So once I finished, I was like, okay, I'm ready to do this. And that's Mm -hmm. when I was like, I'm going to do it. (laughs) What is your experience in music? Yes, that's a good question, because um, I've always been a musician. I've always played guitar. I've always been a singer-songwriter, um, but I went to school for theater. So okay. throughout my whole life, it was like always back and forth, acting, music. So it was like, what do I really want to do? And you don't have to limit yourself, and that's what I realized. You can do both. You can do everything you want to do. But after I graduated, I was like, I'm just going to do music and just that only. And then when I put my focus, I got a lot more progress done. And I, um, uh, you know, I just, I just... You know, I put my hyper focus and then I actually started getting what I wanted. Like I started performing more often, I started meeting more people, and I felt just better. So, yeah, that's good. All right, your next question is, where where are your favorite artists? One of my favorite artists? Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, there's a lot out there. Um, <laughs> but um, most recently, I love like Adele. Okay. Have you heard of her? <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's great. I yes, love her I so have. much. <laughs> I like her too. Yeah, she's great. Um, I love Adele. I mean, Winehouse. That kind of vibe. And that's, that's yeah, that's my favorite female singer right now. Okay. Yeah. Um, one of these, a lot of my songs have been inspired by them. So I'll play a song for you that I wrote. It's called Since I'm Not With You. Okay. Yeah. 
away Cause I'm trying to find A brighter side And I don't know where this world's going But I'm gonna try To get home And what will I do Where will I go As I keep running And I keep running Since I'm not with you Thank you. That was Since I'm Not With You. I wrote that a long time ago, and I still play that song. So um, it's crazy because it's kind of transformed over the years, and it's definitely different than when I first wrote it. I wrote it like in middle school, and like, why do I still play this song that I wrote a long time ago? But you know, certain songs that you write are. A, like a like a capsule in time and it's like it's a way to re remember that moment so that's maybe why <laughs> all right the next question is how do you how do you write music ooh that's a good one well, um, I don't know. I start out kind of by, like, just playing something a lot of time, just humming along, and then I I kind of have to be in a mood. Okay. You know? Like, good mood or bad mood, like, no mood at all. I just kind of, like, have to sit there and, like, let myself feel, because if you force anything, it's not, not you're not going to feel inspired. And sometimes you're, you know you don't you don't want to force it. When we are musicians, it's our job to write and create, but it also has to be like authentic. It can't be forced or contrived. So writing is an experience that is emotional and you know vulnerable. So you have to let yourself get to a mood and get to a place. It's funny because there's um, this thing I heard. Well, I think we all know what it is, but we're all attracted to pain. <laughs> so if I write a song about my emo my pain, people are going to want to listen to that because we're just naturally attracted to that. So it's okay to write about something you're not feeling great about. So that's what I've learned. Like, it's okay to write about things that aren't necessarily a happy thing. So that's my writing experience. Do you write a lot of music? Yeah, I do. Um, I go in phases, I think, where I write a lot, and then there are times when I don't write a lot. Okay. And 
when I don't write, I think that is just as important as the writing part because yeah. you kind of give yourself experiences that you will later write about. <laughs> All right, so my next question is, do you like social media? Ooh, who likes social media? I do all the time. Maybe. maybe. (laughs) I don't know, it's a love-hate thing. I think we all love-hate it. Um, I think, I do like it. I do like it because I've connected with so many people from Instagram. It's amazing. Thanks. Like I've met people from across the world and I've been able to like grow my business and do things, which has been really great. The bad thing is that I find myself relying on it to make connections instead of really being present in yeah. my everyday. So, I think it's good to be to be active and it's it's also good to be off of it. Yeah, it is pretty much. You know, it's a lot of trouble. I don't think sometimes. you believe that. You, you're like, I'm. Once I'm done, I'm gonna be on my phone right now. <laughs> Where's my phone? No, I said that I cannot have my phone with me because I would get interrupted. Oh, okay, got it. A lot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can I play another song? Yes. Go ahead. The song is one of the happier ones, I guess. <laughs> it's called "Call You Mine." I ran into you yesterday It was no mistake I think it was a sign And when you started to smile It didn't seem fake You should have stayed a while From the corner of my
<laughs> yeah, it's calling mine. Oh, great. They just can't get enough, I guess. I'm just kidding. All right. Um, this next song is going to be on my EP coming out. I remember I said that last time, but um, it's a process. And when it does come out, it's going to be amazing. So you guys just got to wait for that. This is called It Ain't Easy. Much too bad. 
So I like the song that you that you were playing. Thank it's you. It's pretty good, and Thank I really you. like it. All right, my next question is: Do you have music out? Um, I do have music out. Um, right now it's on Spotify. Okay. Um, no, it's not. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming out on what are Spotify. You telling me now? It's coming out on Spotify. Okay. It'll be there soon once the EP's done. But it's All on right. SoundCloud. So the good thing is that you can go on SoundCloud and listen to some old stuff. Okay. And I have three songs on there. Two of the ones that I played earlier called Since I'm Not With You, Call You Mine, and then another one. Um, but that's my older stuff. So you guys really are in for a treat when my EP comes out. It's going to be on Spotify and all the, all the platforms. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be great. Um, I'm really excited for that. I can't wait, too. Thank you. Thank you. It's very exciting. So, um, do you have anything else to tell me? What would you like to... Well, you know, um, I'm, I'm trying to, um, be patient okay. with my process. Yes. And, um, that's one thing that's kind of like a message I want to tell everybody is, like, things don't come quickly. So no, you gotta don't. be... You gotta be patient and, and go with the process, um, and just go with it no matter what. Um, I do have some shows coming up. Oh yeah, and what that's is it? that that's what I'm doing in the meantime. So uh-huh. while I'm working on the music and in the studio, I'm just getting out there, getting my name out there, doing all the shows, you know, blah blah blah. So um, I'm loving Long Beach, and I'm in Long Beach a lot. So I am here today, but I'm gonna be. Um, playing at this thing on Sunday the 14th of this month called uh-huh. Pour on 4th. So I've never heard of it. It sounds like beer and drinks, so I'm down for that. Well, I am down too. <laughs> Ooh. Well, it's called Pour on 4th. Okay. Um, it's part of um, um, the Live on Long Beach or first something Live on Long Beach. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't have the correct I'll, information. I'll look it up. You'll look it up. Yes. Everyone listening will look at you got to look it up. Long Beach is great. Really support artists here, which is awesome. Um, that's on the 14th, and then I got some other stuff scattered throughout the month. So um, you can find me on Instagram. I follow you on Facebook. Oh, but Instagram's good. Instagram's, okay. I think, a little better. So if you want to follow me and find out where I'm playing next, you can find me on Instagram at Sylvia Bosco Music. All right. That's Sylvia with a Y. Okay. So, so well, yeah, I have your name right here. Perfect. <laughs> well, sometimes people think it's S I. Okay. But yeah. S Y. So you don't want to be following the wrong person. I think that's what I put on accident on your contact. <laughs> yeah, I, people. I always have this stupid joke. It's Sylvia with a Y, and you'll always think Y, and then you'll remember Sylvia with a Y for the rest of your lives. So <laughs> that's my little joke. See? Oh yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I think I have one more song. Okay. I think I have one more song. So it's called Am I the P? Um, can I get a little more? Um, yeah, it's called Am I the One? I'm just gonna. Oof. I got it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We're all multitaskers here. Yeah. You got it? You can hear yourself? Um, yeah. Yeah, I can. A little better, yeah. Thank you.
Thank you. I really liked it. it Thank you. Really good. It's about a boy, obviously. <laughs> about a boy is plenty. Oh, oh, oh. no, this is just I didn't one mean, boy. Just I one know, boy. I know. It's just plenty. But it There's can, a lot. It can go out to go out to others. Yes, it can. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I you did pretty you did really good and um Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. I'm glad to be back. It's my second time back, so I'm looking forward to the next time. You need to come for the third one now. Exactly, exactly. So, yeah, I'll see you yes. guys later. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you for coming into the KOBC.org from Long Beach. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> see you next time. Yeah, see you next time. One more song? One more song? Yes. Do we have any questions? You're giving me the look. You're giving me the look. So maybe I should play another one. Yes. I've been asking for another one. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. We're just getting the approval right now. I got it. I should do it? Yes. You should do it. I should do it. Come on. One more song. Okay. (laughs) All right. I don't like ending on the song because it's kind of a sad song. It's okay. It's okay? All right. Yes. Leave you guys for I got a tissue if you need to wipe the tear. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. This song is called Without You. Okay.
you. It was a sad song. It's okay. It's okay. I like it. Okay. It was okay. really good. <laughs> so, yeah. um... I don't know what else to ask. <laughs> I covered it all. I'm so glad you 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 know the real me now. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Um, I'm excited to be more part of the Long Beach community. Yes. And I'll see you next I'm really time. happy to. Yeah. So you should come more often. You know. Yeah. Um, sure. Another thing is, what did I, I forgot what I was gonna say now. <laughs> <laughs> Your contact yes. info. So um, you can find me on social media, like I said before, okay. um, but you can never get enough of it, right? So it's yes. Sylvia Bosco Music at Sylvia Bosco Music. You can get me with that handle on Facebook, on Instagram, on SoundCloud. That's where the music is for now until I get Spotify up. Okay. Um, but yeah, Sylvia Bosco Music. Sylvia with a Y. All right. Can't forget. I got that now. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right, my name is Jenny, and I am interviewing Rafael Carlos. Serrato. Serrato. Okay. Don't worry, everyone gets that wrong. It's <laughs> I'm too, they, so it's sorry. Too, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Like <laughs> I got it wrong this time. Yeah. All right. Um, so my number one question that I'm gonna be asking mm -hmm. you when I'm interviewing you: Tell me about yourself. Ah, the most boring thing. Uh, well, not much to tell. I was born in the Philippines, Holo Sulu, in Mindanao. Okay. And that's like the southern part of the Philippines. So everything you've heard about extremists or uh, bad people, terrorists, they're from like that southern region. So my parents, you know, ASAP as possible, left when I was one years old. So ever since I was one, I've been living in the United States, just in Lakewood, you know, down the street. Um, but more recently, uh, I've just been playing music, playing folk music. I used to do the whole punk rock thing. Okay. But when I found out that we sucked, I just stopped. All right. Um, my well, the first one still is why. Why do you write and play music? Oh, uh, sad tales over sad tales. It's something to I cope with, because these past few years have been really tough on me. Last year, I was actually diagnosed with psoriatic arthritis, and around this time last year, I was using a cane. I was using a cane oh. from last year January till yeah, like October. Uh -huh. Because my bones, I still can't stretch out my right elbow, my left knee, and some of my toes are still uh, swollen just from oh, the arthritis. Wow. Yeah, so I don't know if you've guys seen Game of Thrones, spoiler alert, but it's been like two years. Um, there's this character who has like all these skin lesions, and like when they peel them off, like, you know, he aches in pain, and that was literally what I went through. All these red patches you might see on my skin, those were like psoriatic scales. And then I couldn't even play guitar anymore because my elbow locked up. And every time I'd strum, you know, it'd be, you know, fathoms of pain. So I just turned to music, and that's what kind of, like, brought me out of it. Okay, my second question is, what books are you current reading? Oh, let's see. Currently uh, reading. There you I'm go. currently reading Dostoevsky's Brothers Karamazov. Okay. I'm a big Dostoevsky guy. He's like the, well, if you want to talk about sadness, you can read a Dostoevsky book because he paints the human condition like nobody can. After I read The Idiot last year, uh, his other book, it's amazing. But after um, I read that, I wept because I was like in the exact condition that Prince Mishkin was. And that's Dostoevsky's The Idiot. Amazing book. Highly recommend that one. All right. Um... My third question is, what artist are you listening to? Oh, man. I have three main artists that are constantly on loop. The first one is Kat Clyde, this Canadian blues and folk artist. The second one is Gregory Allen Isakov, this uh, amazing folk artist. Shout out to him. He doesn't need a shout out, but shout out to him. He just released an album today, Evening Machines. You guys should check it out. I'm not getting paid to say this, but he is amazing. Every single song of his is just absolutely fantastic. <laughs> And the third artist, I'm obsessed with these guys, the Paranoids. Uh, if you look at my pins, I have a Paranoid pin. I'm wearing a Paranoid shirt. And the guitarist I have right here, Lexi. Uh, shout out to the Paranoids. They're so cool, but they're like this horror punk rock man. Imagine a Twilight Zone episode on acid. And that's their sound. You know, they're really cool. My number fourth question is, can you tell us about yourself? 
No, about your album. Oh, my album. So I released an album last year called The Ferryman, and it's a folk album about lingering. So a lot of the songs, uh, unlike me, I don't know if you can tell, I'm a bit loud, but unlike me, a lot of the songs are very soft, and it's um, something that, again, helped me cope with my psoriatic arthritis and my depression. And uh, back in March, I believe, I put the album... Uh, well, all proceeds for the album, all digital sales, so I can keep track of them, all proceeds are donated to Little Kids Rock. It's a charity that brings music programs and instruments like straight to kids and straight to schools all across America. So again, that album is The Ferryman, and you can find it on my band camp, Rafael Carlos Serrato. Okay. Um, your number fifth question is, where can we find your music? Oh. So, again, uh, the main place would be the band camp. You can search uh, Rafael Carlos Serrato. Again, I'm sorry for that spelling, but, you know. No, it's uh, okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but you can put the Ferryman album or Folk or Rafael the Ferryman, and you should find it. And all my song that's my only album right now, but I am working on some new stuff, which I'm definitely going to play today. So, okay. band camp. This song is called Blue Chemical. Straight down her forearms She's a head taller than the other pretty girls in class the Attitude as sharp as a knife is blue A punk at heart never read in between her tattoos Those train tracks hum over rusted stones A rebel wants She can't Call it home Oh no She's the breath you take Right before you sing a song the contempt when you don't know the words no more A hit from her joint and you're feeling good Never much for trouble but this time you would Follow Turn of the phrase and you're ready to blow Build your track somewhere else Cause I'm ready to go home Why'd I do? I just sit and stare When that blue chemical resonates off your golden hair I sit and stare Thank you, Radio Airwaves. So this next tune isn't off my album. It's a new one. Uh, it's called Where the River Bends. That heart of mine stood stone for too long. Even the dust began to leave your running river I've lingered on poisons the well where I feed oh where I feed your old boots lay thundered and torn they still manage to drag you away I've dug the dirt where I plundered your shores and struck my heels straight into the graves, oh, into the graves. 
So I've crawled all the way to the mountain tops Oh, on my knees and hands And I've lost your hymns at the river bend Where this river bends, oh Lord Pick it up, pick it up I grew the grass where I tempered your storms You broke the earth in two Drowned in your waters, let my lungs unfurl I gave my breath for you Oh, it was all for you I've read those books like memories on shelves The treasure maps that lead nowhere I've lost my way through those muddy trails Your running river is all bare Oh, you're all laid bare So I've hoped to see All your leaves fall red Oh, the leaves, they burn red And I've lost my heart At the river bend Where this river bends, oh Lord are bitter, but not as cold as waters, but the trees they sing otherwise, your hands parade, cascade down that dress, to right where the river breaks, these boots march forward, on the salt and the sand To where the earth loves the sea And that moon she's jealous Another lover torn Between her waters and me So, um, <clears throat> what made you write the song you just played? Oh, man. Well, <clears throat> when I'm writing, I tend to, um, oh, I steal a lot of ideas, uh, but don't, don't, don't call me on that. The, but the, like the guy I mentioned, Gregory Allen Isakoff, he had this really brilliant idea where he said he wrote on notepads uh, lyric ideas. And whenever I find a lyric idea... Um, I did the same thing. I wrote it on post. I wrote it on post-it and slapped it on a wall. And there was one that was there for so long that there was a ton of dust. And I'm like, oh man, you know, all these post-its that are not being used, or the ones that are being used are being taken off. And then I thought, even the dust began to leave. And that's where I write that first line. Um, uh, this heart of mine stood stone for too long. Even the dust began to leave. So for that one, it was just like that one line that really like stuck to me. And then from there, I just like kept writing. So from a post-it note. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good. I like the songs that you were playing. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That means a lot. I want you to play more music. All right, perfect. All right. I can do that. So, <clears throat> weird enough, this next song is called... It's named... So this next song is called The Fairy Man. It's named after my first album. But it's not on that album. Excuse me. I am going down to the river I will drink from those broken waters We can bathe in the sun until the moonlight Cast her shadows over me I 
I drag these boots down, down, down them tracks Yes, I, I drag my boots down, down, down those tracks I was a drag straight to hell, baby, I ain't never coming back So I, I crawled up your mountain, I broke stones under hills I crawled up your mountain, I broke stones under hills I breached through all those stars, but your heart was still concealed. So my a back bent heavy from all this weight. My back bent heavy from all this weight. Carried all your sins with me, but they damn sure it made me late. Yes, they did. I lost my way at the river bend I lost my way where the river bends I picked up my boots, Lord, cause your waters never end So I, I drank from your rivers just to quench my thirst I drank from your river just to quench my thirst I Offered you your cup, baby, but the devil offered first And he said, I'd take that deal though I ain't telling you no lies, so I take that deal, I ain't telling you no lies With the way your river runs, your water's about to dry, it sure is Says, ride with me now over your rivers. Ride with me over your rivers. I can take you home tonight through hell or high waters. Oh, yes, I, I can take you home tonight through hell or high that devil shall lead i shall follow her hand in hand hey thank you so much radio airwaves <laughs> one more okay so this next song is called missing words funny enough i wrote this about somebody and then they they almost confronted me about it yeah, they didn't know I wrote it for them, and then I think they started listening to the words. So if you're listening, if you're listening out there, the song's about you. Tips plugging guitar strings. Oh, I was hoping to be your song, but you only sang for the full bellied moon, or just when we were on our own. So you took that jacket full of holes. Knowing well, it was mine. Then you ran down barefoot in the cold, chasing stars. But there were just the street lights.
threw shade when I broke the chance. You asked for a waltz while my heart couldn't dance. You were just a silhouette, or maybe a silver thread, cause your smile was neither here nor there. But when you sang, whoa, oh, when she sings, even that moon holds her breath. She paints her lips red from the wine she drinks And now I'm the missing words in the song she sings Oh yes, I'm those missing words in the song she sings Thank you, Airwaves. So, my next question is Remind us where we can find you. So once again, um, <clears throat> best place to listen to my music is my Bandcamp. That's Bandcamp Rafael Serrato. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's always the same, The Riff Raffi. I'm sorry, you know, now I'm thinking about it, all these like misspellings of my names are going to come across and no one's going to find me, but that's okay. The album I have is called The Ferryman. I don't have any shows coming up, but I will... Let everyone who follows me know. So, uh, again, on Instagram and Twitter, you can find me at The Riff Raffi. Play uh, more music? Absolutely. So this next tune, let's cause some thunder. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Black Voodoo Swing. There's a witch here, woman I know The kind of gal that can steal your souls What she wants from me, I don't know But she's got that black voodoo, whoa hey. It's all voodoo magic a so cold, baby, so fantastic I called the devil, I yelled her name Hey, 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 I'm on the run, stuck in a game Oh, yes I am Oh, hey Let me tell you a little bit more about this witchy woman, huh? And where she dwells A little house by the bayou Her black magic dwells right beside you The sun is shining, but that moon is out I can't you hear her scream and shout? I saw the black ice and the bells were ringing. A load of dice, hell was singing. The fire's hot, the rocks were red. I watch out when you go to bed and you'll see. Oh. It's all voodoo magic. A so cold baby, so fantastic I called the devil, I yelled her name Hey, 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 I'm on the run, stuck in a game I said, it's all voodoo magic A so cold baby, so fantastic I called the devil, I yelled her name I'm on the run, stuck in a game Oh, yes I am, I hope you left your coats and your souls at the door For after waltzing with this woman you shall not need them no more I said, it's all voodoo magic A so cold baby, so fantastic I called the devil, I yelled her name Hey, 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 I'm on the run, stuck in a game Oh, yes, I am Thank you Right, I got one more for y'all. This next song, I think it's the saddest song I've written to date. I don't want to get people sad, so I won't tell the backstory, but it's called Leave a Light On, and it's a waltz. Oh, 
those hallways Oh, they always remain the same like you So what's changed? Oh, what's changed? Ain't the darkness nor the moons It's those radios, it's the shadows Oh, they flickered out too soon Oh, she flickers out too soon Just in case you hear the bird songs, take me away through our moving platforms. If summer stays, oh, I'll leave a light on just this once, just in case. Through closed doors, her heavy whispers How they linger in the air Like the words I waste and the mistakes she made Or the songs I love to hear Her forgotten chords and those melodies Are the burdens that she must bear I'm the burden she cannot bear Just in case the scarecrows move along From your fields of wine and all the dandelions Oh, she's running late, but I'll leave the light on Just this once, just in case Just in case Just in case Thank you. Any new music coming? Yeah, most of those were new tunes. <clears throat> Excuse me, I only played a few from my first album. So the last song was my newest one. I am working on another album, but once I get a collection of maybe like 10 to 12, that's when I think I'll put it out. Uh, one of those songs, actually, Where the River Bends, that's going to be the title of the... That's really presumptuous of me to like already name my whatchamacallit. But there is like a theme with rivers and waters and cleansing and moving on. As you'll see with that other song, The Ferryman, you know, the ones who guide us across waters to stop us from lingering and move on. But yeah, pretty soon I'm hoping to work on my, work on new music and then put out another album soon. Thank you. Thank him for playing. Oh yes, let's all thank him for playing. Thank you so much for having me, KLVC. Uh, this was a wonderful opportunity. Uh, you know, College Radio provides a voice outlet that no other ones can provide for these like underground artists like me. I would have never thought in a million years would I be playing on the radio. Thank you so much, KLVC. And can we give it up for the staff? You guys can't see the staff, but they're working so hard. They're running around. They're working so hard. Thank you so much, everybody. It's College Radio Day of 2018, and let's have a word from Tony.